Right, in this video we're going to be looking at composite functions. So a composite function is a function that is built up of two separate functions. One function followed by another. Okay, And it can best be represented by effectively starting off with a value of x and then putting it through some function machine, okay, which let's say it is f. So first of all, we apply f to it, and out would come f of x, and then we put it through a second function machine. Let's call this one g. And so what we get at the end is that first of all, we put through f of x, Okay, well, we put through x and it, we got out f of x, and then we put f of x into g of x. Okay, so f of x went into g of x, and effectively we now have g f of x. So this is saying f was applied first, and then g was applied. Okay, so you, it's like working your way outwards. Now, Really, we won't use notation with these uh, doubles, two sets of brackets. So a shorthand notation is to write it like this, gf of x. But you just need to remember that what that means is that f of x is being applied first and f of x is going into g. Okay, So that's how a composite function would work. So let's say we started off with these two functions. f is x plus 4 squared, and g is 2x minus 1. Then we could look at, well, let's look at this one, g f of x. Okay, well, that's f of x going into g. So that's g of f, which is x plus 4 squared. So the x in g of x has been replaced with x plus 4 squared. So in the same way, the x here must be replaced with x plus 4 squared. So it's two lots of x plus 4 squared minus 1. Okay, and that can be my gf of x. We could also be asked f of g of x, because this is not necessarily the same thing. This is applying g first, and then applying f. So this is f of g of x, 2x minus 1. Now f is x plus 4 squared, so the x has been replaced with 2x minus 1. So this is 2x minus 1 plus 4 all squared. OK, so the x here has been replaced with 2x minus 1, so the x here must be replaced with 2x minus 1. And of course we can simplify that. In this case it seems like, uh, you know, it's just one easy step to simplify it. We wouldn't really necessarily need to multiply the brackets. In a similar case, I wouldn't manipulate this, I wouldn't need to multiply the brackets here unless the question asks you to specifically write it in one certain way. Likewise, because we can find gf of x or fg of x, you could find ff of x or gg of x. Okay? So this is applying f and then applying f again. So this is f of x plus 4 all squared. So the x gets replaced with x plus 4 squared. So this is x plus 4 squared plus 4 all squared. OK? So it's got replaced there. This x plus 4 squared and that x. So we could find gg of x as well, and we could keep going. OK? So this is how composite functions work and how they are built.